All set? Thank you. Let me bring uh, the Inland and Wetlands Commission to order. This is the Monday, September 18th. This is the regular meeting of the Inland and Wetlands Commission of New Canaan. Uh, will the sec secretary take the roll, please? Uh, yes, Mr. Chair. Mr. Stepanek? Here. Ms. Jameson? Present. Ms. Brunali? Present. Mr. Perkins? He's on Zoom. He's here. Okay. George, are you there? Can you just say hello or I'm here? Yes, I'm here. Thank you. Thank you. Ms. Samford? Here. Mr. Sillo? Absent. Miss Wojcicki. Absent. Absent. Miss Owsley. Here. Mr. Ramirez. Here. Mr. Redden. Here. Thank you. Okay. Um, Mr. Ramirez, would you stand in for Anthony Zillow tonight? Yes. Okay. And Katie, will you substitute for Priscilla Wojcicki yes. tonight? Yes. Um, let me elaborate on each of our new members, alternative members. Uh, I wrote a brief bio on each, and let me just, so I don't know if everyone knows everybody, but maybe this will point you with the two new alter, alternates here, and then they'll have an opportunity to talk and add to it, whatever I say. Um, first, Mr. Ramirez. Um, Adam has lived and worked in, in banking and finance in a number of cities and countries, including New York, LA, San Francisco, Chicago, and he's even worked in Australia and Mexico. He moved to New Canaan in 2007, where his two daughters attended primary school. Since moving to New Canaan, he has served on one, the Zoning Board of Appeals for two years. He has also he was also a volunteer for four years, as well as a volunteer. He was also a volunteer for four years as a fireman here, and as well as a volunteer financial analyst for the New Canaan Community Foundation. He is also an active member of our town's YMCA. This is just a brief example uh, where he worked and served uh, since he had served while he was in New Canaan. Um, he, he now wants to continue his commitment to New Canaan by serving on the Inland Wetlands Commission. Um, is there anything you might want to add or? I think that's a very good summary of, <laughs> very, of my okay. time in town. All right, thank you. Secondly, um, let me get this here. Let me now turn to a, a brief bio of Sandy. Um, Sa uh, Sandy Redden and his wife moved to New Canaan in, in 1992, where they have raised two children who attended New Canaan Public Schools. A few roles that Sandy has worked on on related to New Canaan include, he was a board member to the New Canaan Red Cross. He was a New Canaan EMT volunteer. He also served as a New Canaan volunteer firefighter. firefighter. He was chairman of the New Canaan Fire Commission and is co-founder of the New Canaan Office of Emergency Management. He is currently an investment banker running the U.S. operations for an investment bank based in Oslo, Norway. The Oslo bank-based uh, company specializes in international shipping. Um, like Adam, Sandy is committed to making New Canaan a better town to live in for all its residents and intends to do this by helping us here on the commission serve serve on the Inland Wetlands Commission. Sandy, do you have anything to say you might want to add? Uh, no, Mr. Commissioner, thank you very much. I'm just looking forward to being part of this commission. Thank you. Thank you both for, for joining the Wetlands Commission. And we are looking forward to working with 
you to achieve the goal of making New Canaan a better community. All right. Now, we'll, any, any other comments, any other questions of, of the new alternates at all? No? Okay. Number I'm four. Number, uh, uh, may I? Yeah. So this is, for the record, this is Angela Jameson. I'd just like to say welcome to you both. It's great to have you on board, and uh, it's nice to have a full commission again. Thank you. Approval of the agenda. You all have had a copy and looked at, reviewed the, the agenda for the night. Are there any comments, uh, changes, deletions? All right, uh, I guess if there aren't any, George, are you, can you hear me? George Perkins? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now the agenda looks fine. Um, um, and, and welcome to the new members. I hope to meet you personally. Um, I'm usually around, but not tonight. Okay.
<clears throat> Kathleen? There doesn't seem to be any sound coming through for me. I don't mean to interrupt, but I am not receiving any sound. I didn't wear a jacket. Got a, got my hand umbrella out of my car. George, can you hear us? I hear you now. Good. Good. Thank you very much. Too many machines. <laughs> Kathleen, we we keep saying the 18th of October, and down here you have written the 16th. It, it, oh, I'm sorry, I may have the wrong date. I someone asked me before what the date was. I know I, I heard that. Let yeah. me just look quickly on the calendar. Tonight's the 18th, so October is the 16th. Yes. So 16th. October 16th. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And and yeah, so. Okay, so we have a quorum then for the uh, for the eleventh site visit. Perfect, great. today. Okay, uh, agent report, administrative actions. We got one, two, three, four. Do you want to discuss these? Anyone in particular, or all of them? Um, well, uh, all the commissioners do have this uh, this agenda um, for the new members. I'll go in a little uh, more than I normally would probably. So these are um, administrative uh, wetland applications that came through the department probably over the last month of time. Uh, by statute, um, I'm allowed to approve things administratively if they fall into a certain category. These four um, projects all fell into that category. Um, so primarily no activity in a wetlands. So the um, working with the, um, the, the consultants and, and homeowners at these particular four locations, I would, um, you know, they, they turn in exactly the same type of application that you would see as a commission member, all the same bells and whistles. Um, and then I report to the commission that I did, did issue these four, um, these four permits. The, um, they largely, uh, if I look at the basic activities, some of them are, you know, you can read the description, um, construction of a barn at 85 Arrowhead Trail, um, 259 Mariomi is for a full uh, reconstruction of a, of a, a, a dated property, with demolition and new construction at that location. I'm just going to mute George because I have a little bit of feedback. There we go. Um, 72 uh, Garibaldi is some landscaping and construction activities um, to improve that property. And 637 um, Valley uh, is a, um, a matter that needs to go to P&Z to fully become uh, a subdivided lot. But as part of those activities, they have to demolish a pool and a paddle and tennis courts in order to then do their improvements. Again, all, all of these activities are in the Upland Review areas. Um, so those permits have been issued, um, and I don't know what else, uh, what else, anything okay. more? All right. Okay. All right. Moving right along. Um, number 12, discussion for training session by town attorney, Chairman Stepani. As some background, Kathleen and I, uh, talked with Ira Bloom, who is the town attorney. And since we have two new alternate members and, uh, and I've been on the commission now for just about 20 years and I've only been to one training session. So what we would like to plan and discuss is a training session probably in this room 
we would have it maybe uh, we prior to a meeting, no earlier than sometime in maybe January or February. And the reason I'm bringing it up now is because we, I'm going to ask the commission for ideas that may, what what they'd like to be trained on, so to speak. Okay, Kathleen has a list, but if we if we could get some ideas from you by the end of November, that's a long time off, or or sooner, and give them to Kathleen. What you'd like to have Ira Bloom, the town attorney, help us with as far as training uh for the wetlands it could be things like um um you know uh, media uh, uh, training in media what to deal with the, the media if we're asked a question about you know things that may be going on in the commission in the app you know in, in, as background so she's how many ideas do you have uh, so some of the commission members and Dan, I'm almost certain you have been to many more trainings than just one. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I have a record that says many more, but that's okay. By, <laughs> by the attorney? Oh, by the town attorney. Okay. I thought you attorney? meant, I said, but in general, I know. Oh, no, I'm talking all, about the oh, town attorney. Oh, by the town attorney. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So I was like, oh, no, I've been to that. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I thought. Didn't want the public to think that. Yeah. Um, so this um new members also know that there is the dep three segment video recorded training it, it that is excellent training um um uh it goes through all the uh, tremendous amount of information and and as you're on the commission you'll even learn some of those things just by osmosis so what the town attorney is uh, typically would do for us is um, things such as Freedom of Information Act, that comes into play with the commission. Um, meeting logistics, there's just some things that come up. We don't, you know, timing of certain things. And our regulations are very much tied to um, the regulations that drive it and the laws. So there's a lot of um, like the date of receipt then triggers another timing. So so he'll, he may go into some of that. Um, a question of can can you limit a speaker who wishing wishing to speak so how to you know robert's rules how to control the meeting and things like that um let's see what else um i'll probably speak a little bit about what i did tonight administrative agent what are my duties and what what's my role with the commission i think would be helpful to some of the newer members um what's the process when someone takes an appeal of a decision that the commission makes? And we've been through that a few times. That's a very legally uh, involved process, but you know, he may go over something like that, how to conduct site visits properly so that we're not gonna get into uh, slippery slopes in that area. Um, it, it, sometimes there's a commission member uh, who has a particular expertise. They should they be disclosing that if they're listening to a matter. If we have an engineer on the commission or a soil scientist, you know, how do you actually put that on the record? That into the record, so to speak. Um, when to recuse yourself and conflicts because sometimes you will have a conflict with somebody who's coming into the to the. Uh, to the uh, to have a matter reviewed by the commission, so he would go over sort of what are the protocols for recusal and and what what is a conflict. So something you might think is a conflict actually isn't a conflict. So, so he may speak a little bit about that. Um, Dan did talk about you know the media. Sometimes some of our matters get to the media level, and and you know what what should you be saying or not saying to the media <laughs> in that regard, uh, dealing with the media. So those were the ideas that we came up with as just in the conversation with Ira, who is our town attorney. Um, and Pete Gelderman is the other town attorney. They have uh, years of experience in land use matters and actually service multiple towns in our area. So they're very well versed in certainly in the wetland matters and and assisting the commission members in you know pr processing the matters that come before you. So. How much time were we thinking? I, I could about an hour. Well, so I think that minutes. was the one thing. Yeah. So we were thinking our meeting starts at seven. Our our regular meetings are normally scheduled at seven. So we thought if there was one month in January, February, 
that we could do a six o'clock meeting, do the training, and then go into whatever the other matters might be on the agenda. That That's the thinking. But in the meantime, if um, any of our other members who have recently been through some big projects, if something that you've been nagging, you're like, why didn't we handle it that way? You know, but give it to me in an email and I'll for forward it to Ira. And if he can work it into his presentation, he'll add it as a as something to discuss. So any questions? What we would like your ideas, you know, the quicker the better, but certainly by the end of November, sometime in November, if we could. Um, number 13, plan of conservation and development, community survey, and next steps. Kathleen Holland. Well, Dan, wow. 722. That's good. <laughs> so the plan of conservation development, uh, Sarah Carey, the town planner, just asked me to add that to our agenda as an, an awareness tool to the commission members as residents of the town. Uh, the town is undertaking, the planning and zoning department is undertaking uh, the 10-year plan of conservation and development. Almost everyone at this point in time has received the survey uh, or information about the plan of conservation development. Uh, your role isn't as an Inland Wetlands Commission member, but as a resident of the town. If you've received the, the survey, uh, the town planner is hoping that we can get as many uh, ideas and input from the public at large, commission members, um, regarding you know, the questions that are on the survey and that will eventually shape, you know, what the town of New Keene and uh, Planning and Zoning Department will will further um, implement within the the plan that does get eventually adopted by the town. The deadline for the survey is, is fairly quick, so if it's in your inbox, don't ignore it. Um, September thirtieth, uh, the surveys need to be returned to uh, the the office of uh, Planning and Zoning if you're going to do a paper survey electronically, you just send it in, you know, with your comments on it there. They have estimated it takes about 20 to 25 minutes to do the survey, you know, depending on how much time you want to spend on it. Um, from this survey, um, SLR, the consultant will then uh, vet out the primary ideas that then will be um, moved forward to a public meeting. This is just the first step in the process. So it's, it's a year long process or they're a couple months into it now. October, what's the date, Dan? October 26th, I think it's is on there. So there'll be more information that comes uh, forward, but the survey is the primary thing, just getting the word out in every way, shape and form that we can. Um, I think Sarah's done a really good job getting it out to a lot of different uh, entities and agencies and the public at large. So any questions on the plan of conservation bell bomb? It's not really, it's not my thing, but I certainly know enough about it to answer maybe a question or two. Yes. So I've already taken the survey, but okay. the, um, so it comes from planning and zoning. So with SLR, so, uh, so planning. No, I know. I just, the entity, the yeah, town entity, this, this she took be... it already. Yeah, I took it already. Oh, you took but it you should do it. Okay. It's so much easier taking it online. Yes. Yeah. It does come yeah. from planning and building. It's maybe yeah, maybe it, yeah. I'm just curious. I thought I read it as maybe the Conservation Com Commission and, and another entity, but it, no, it's yeah. planning and zoning. Huh? Yes. And so, Conservation Commission, Planet New Canaan, Land Trust, uh, comments and feedback from everyone is what they're seeking right now. So. Any questions about that? <laughs> Does anybody have any questions? We, we, that's it for tonight. Any before we? Hey, I did have a question about the uh, POCD, if I may. So, <clears throat> when it gets to like the draft stage, <laughs> excuse me, do we get to review it? <laughs> um, so, <clears throat> we being the Inland Wetlands yeah. Commission, that's a good question. I will ask Sarah what their what their um. So the one thing I did want to say about about the plan of conservation development, I'll just wait a minute. So ten years ago, there there was there was we were the conservation commission. So so it's been broken out since. Uh, you know, uh, conservation commission now oh, stands yeah. on its own. Yeah. So inland wetlands 
<laughs> might not have as big of a role as we had in the past, but certainly you can review the the open space portion. You know, there there may be things, but to what you're doing with the survey now is is answering as a resident of the town in Kina. So so, um, but I will ask Sarah whether or not because we had this discussion, and then I said, but wait a minute conservation was actually rolled into in the wetlands previously with the previous plan. So conservation got rolled out of, of yeah. in the wetlands and a couple other agencies. But I believe the the committee that is heading up, you know, working with Sarah on the planners country, they're, 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 they're sorting out kind of presentations and groups, but there'll be plenty of public hearing opportunities and input. So Will you see a draft of the plan? I, I think everyone will see a draft of the plan. It, it, I mean, it's, right. it has to go through an adoption process. So yes, I, I mean, the, the answer is yes, you will see a draft of the plan. Does this commission want the SLR or the town planner to come and review it? I mean, I could make that request if you think it's, if you think it's valuable or would be valuable to the commission. And I just raised the question because I just have a recollection when I was very new on the commission that there was some discussion of the draft POCD. Right. And well. I went back in the minutes yeah. actually to refresh my memory of this. And I pulled out where we had I had sent to the commission members the open space portion and maybe yeah. one other portion because that that was wearing your conservation hat at that time. Okay. So, yeah, we had this discussion in the office, like, how do we how do we you know, at least bring it forward so that input is given by by all commissions that are relevant to the plan of conservation development. There are some commissions that won't be relevant to the plan of conservation development. Not that inland wetlands is not relevant, but um, it's just different because yep, we don't have it. a conservation commission. Yes. Um, Katie, obviously for the record, just, so just having read the last iteration of the POCD, it is really, it, it is much more focused on development than it is in conservation. So I do wonder if there is value in what Angela is suggesting and that it, it, it is, it's it's lacking in the, cons it's it's an imbalance, to, uh, maybe lacking is the yep. wrong word. So it's heavily development focused and not conservation focused, which I, I know Christopher is is mm -hmm. aware of and working on, but it, I think maybe a presentation to Inlands Wetlands would be valuable for that okay. very reason. I'll definitely pass that comment on to Sarah, who then will discuss it with her, the um, subcommittee, I guess it's called, of the uh, Plan of Conservation and Development. So I I think she will accommodate us. I, I, I believe she would come. It's sort of a process. You know, we have to wait, wait and see a little bit until get the surveys in. And October, I want to give you the right date. So the next it is the 26th. So October 26th is the next they call it the community engagement. So that's where they have workshops and roundtables and and SLR will be there to make the presentation and you'll move, uh, you know, groups of people will move station to station. I'm not sure exactly, that's why I'm going from the past. This is how they did it. But, um, you know, if you're interested in it, I would encourage you to participate, whether it's with this commission or independent individually. That's really what they're hoping people will do. So. Do you, do you, uh, Sandy or, or Adam, do you, do you have any basic questions now? Anything you want to just shoot out and ask us? I mean, you, you, it's going to come to you. I mean, it's, it, you know, it's going to come. But personally, it's just observing and learning. Yeah. From, from the, the esteemed members. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We like that. <laughs> and this is Sandy and I would agree there's I mean we're we've both been commission members in the past of other commissions so we need yeah. to understand your process and what the role is I will say uh to Ms. Holland that online course was great Good. so yeah. and, and even if I'm going to do it again only because uh I was surprised what I learned yeah. so I think even people that have been around a while should do it maybe again once in a while Right. Remind you of what you're doing here. Yeah, the and it, it's broken down into three segments. I've forgotten what the time, what they estimated the. How long did it take you to sort of get through? Well, I I did it um, over three days in between. So 
Yeah. I, I can't remember, honestly. I think it tells you. I, mean, I don't think it's any more than eight hours, but doing it the way you did yeah. it, like segment segment one, I think it's called or whatever, like do do that portion. Uh, it is good information. Um, also, I think I may have told some of the other commission members this. Um, sometimes we will get an applicant and um, I have heard that if it's a lawyer, they sometimes will call the state and inquire who on the commission's gone through the training because they want to know who they're speaking with, like, you know, and there's, there's certainly educated people here and you're experienced, but so that the training is helpful and, and doing it more than once. I've done it several times, just did my process time here to do it a couple of times because things are constantly changing. That um, training was done now a few years ago, but it's still all very appropriate and, and accurate. So and I think you absolutely do learn by being on the commission. And once you see the whole process and understand what's coming in and the timelines for different things. Um, so I'm the technical reviewer and try to tee everything up for, for you guys so that it goes smoothly. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't, but, um, but it's, I'm glad you thought the course was, you know, well, well done. So good. Thank you. But Deep also puts on training programs at, at various facilities and in the state. Okay, and is Khaki Wiki? Are they still doing that? So yeah, uh, there there are other training opportunities that come up for commission members, and whenever I get that information, I do relay that to the commission members of the town. New Canaan will cover the uh, the uh, registration fee or whatever it might be. Um, yeah, there's a different bunch of different. Um, um, uh, like-minded uh, uh, agencies that do put out really good trainings. Um, CACIWIC, Connecticut Association of Conservation in the Wetland Commissions. That's what it's short for. <laughs> um, Soil Scientists, Southwest Council of Soil Scientists, they put out some great trainings. Um, so so there, there are a lot of training opportunities. Some of it's still done by Zoom. Um, some of it's done in person. So we will let you know about it. Your training is not required. You're not required. Like PNZ now has a statute that requires those commission members to be trained within a certain period of time. It's so many hours of training per year. I imagine that's going to come this way too at some point in time. I don't see why why it didn't. But um so so it's 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 helpful. It helps um frankly the applicant who's applying for something that they're getting hopefully a, you know a solid decision they understand why you're making the decision that you're making um so smooth out the process the whole way through the uh, this is a short meeting because we don't have any applications but um i expect uh, october that I, I i i beg each one of you to attend that because that's going to be a very important meeting for the, the wetlands commission okay Anything? Tall him. And I hear a motion to adjourn. I I make the motion that we adjourn. Bet Sanford. Anybody second, please? I second that. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much for coming, everyone. Yep. Collective, uh, They're yep. meeting monthly, so what you said we've been meeting monthly for. Sure. I'm missing the difference between the government and the other. Like, the most of I just I just had a problem with the sound. They got we got to it George was my students in my stat council. Like on um, this, you know, meeting. Oh, okay. And I signed the minutes. I'll leave that by your place. Yeah, I mean.